As we pick up in Deuteronomy chapter 2, we're given a short account of the long stay of Israel in the wilderness. And we're reminded that while wandering in the wilderness for 40 years, the children of Israel lacked nothing. God had provided all that they needed to survive. Check out the words found in verse 7. For the Lord your God has blessed you in everything you have done. He has watched your every step through this great wilderness. During these 40 years, the Lord your God has been with you and you have lacked nothing. What they began to complain about was what God had provided. They weren't satisfied with the provisions God had given. The food wasn't rich enough, the water wasn't abundant enough, and yet they failed to recognize that the sandals and the clothes that they were dressed in never wore out. Not only this, but they were protected by God as he led them day and night. He provided more than they deserved. Listen, when we find ourselves walking through a season of testing, most of us want to get through it as quickly as possible. The refining of our faith is never a pleasant experience. The Israelites knew all too well what it felt like to trudge through hard times. For 40 long years, they traveled and camped and wandered, not knowing when they would reach the promised land. And perhaps this is the most painful part about the testing of our faith. We don't know how long it's going to last or how painful it's going to be. But God, in his faithfulness, walks through the wilderness with us. He provides what we need to make it through. Even though it's painful, it's crucial for the purifying of our faith. And just as the refining of silver involves extreme heat that allows impurities to rise to the surface, so the testing of our hearts involves uncomfortable pressure that urges us to surrender our thoughts, our motives, and our actions to the perfect will of the Father. Though painful, we're never left alone in the process. The refiner doesn't put us through the fire just to stand by and watch. He stays with us while lovingly turning up the heat until we release our impurities to him. God knows our trudging through this life. He sees the trials and the hardships that come, but he doesn't stand by at a distance. He is with us and in us, providing the strength that we need to endure. There's no doubt that the Israelites suffered greatly in the wilderness. What could have been a direct route ended up being a very long road to the promised land. But if the Lord would have ignored their rebellion and skipped the refining process, the impurities of their hearts would have defiled his blessing. The big question for us is, will we allow God to refine us or will we continue to wander in the wilderness of rebellion?